Peter Chang here, and welcome to part 13 of our RC build. And in part 13, I'm going to show you how to take your stock front chassis plate and bumper and attach it to your SCX60 CF. And essentially, this is going to be a decent bumper for you to use if you're just running a regular stock SC10 or a factory team SC10 with the uh, stock shock towers. And in a sense, it's just really just two, you know, two hex, hex screws holding in the uh, front chassis plate. The interesting thing about stock bumpers is that it always has some kind of loop mechanism. For example, the, the loop comes by and then it threads through the to the front shock tower. So I would highly recommend sticking with the stock uh, front bumper if you're if you're gonna put this with the stock front shock tower because that those two pieces seem to go together. Uh, I'm trying to show you like this when I assemble it with my uh, SCX 60 CF and I have the uh, custom built. Uh, speedy dad shock tower uh, it's not really going to line up so great um, there might be some spacer that I might be needing or or some other uh, way of screwing it in for example um, but pretty much uh, it, the build so far looks great from this point of view where I'm just putting in the two screws uh, to secure that to the uh, chassis and just double checking so I'm just gonna go ahead and screw this all the way through uh, so that this part fits into the chassis so on on this side now uh, you see that the front bumper has to connect to the shock tower and on this case uh, I probably could have done this with some kind of spacer or or uh, uh, maybe a longer screw for example um, I only have like these uh, shorter screws and when I tried that it's uh, it's actually going to flex the the uh, front bumper um, it's actually flexing the front bumper in in such a way that uh, I'm just not happy with it uh, next to my uh, custom cut uh, Speedy Dad uh, Big Bore Shock Tower. And pretty much this part of the build uh, took me a little too much longer than I wanted it to to be really. Uh, just too much thought into, into how to actually tie that into the custom front shock tower and just various uh, strategies for doing so. Uh, the reason why it was so difficult is because it's kind of a rare event. You don't usually mix and match different RC vendor parts into a RC car. So it, it requires like, like a little bit of leap of faith, a uh, little bit of disappointment as well too. Uh, so if anybody out there has a uh, better idea of, of combining the, the uh, shock tower with the uh, stock uh, front front bumper I'd be just ecstatic to hear like what you guys have came up with uh, but anyways just just so you know for for me I did try to uh, thread that that uh, screw in in from the uh, carbon fiber side and just to check it out and the result was just a little too much flex for my taste so I ended up not going with it. Now, if you're using a a, uh, a uh, stock shock tower, and and uh, or or just a factory team build, you you will have like essentially the stock shock tower. Uh, in a sense, you could actually uh, go ahead and use this uh, front bumper. There's really nothing wrong with this particular front bumper. Uh, just for some reason, the the vendors, actually all the vendors, like. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's Traxxas or uh, it doesn't matter if it's uh, uh, team associated but generally uh, these bumpers are actually 
uh, just looping through and and uh, touching the uh, shock tower. Uh, conventional wisdom might say like, hey, you know, like the shock tower looks delicate. Uh, you shouldn't really thread the uh, front bumper to the shock front uh, shock tower because uh, it might take uh, too much uh, resistance or or the part might break. Um, I guess one one idea of, of doing this this way with the loop is that the uh, loop would actually break up some kinetic energy and and uh, absorb some of the impact and it, it gets absorbed right into the front shock tower actually. So because of uh, placement uh, with this and uh, I'm going to show you at the uh, very end uh, at the very end what happens is that the the uh, uh, sh shock tower seems to be getting too much uh, uh, pull on it so uh, and I didn't want the uh, shock tower to break so I, in the end I didn't quite go with this configuration uh, even though I love it I love this uh, front bumper visually uh, it is it is a pretty good design front bumper uh, but just so you know, uh, I did uh, switch out this particular front bumper. Um, you could actually uh, screw everything in gently, uh, and it looks like it works. But uh, if you're if you're racing though, uh, you know how critical it is to get everything locked down tight. Um, here's the view of the front bumper here now, and we could see that uh, it's not quite touching. I could uh, force it. I could flex force it. Uh, one way to get it in. However, I I didn't end up uh, uh, doing that just because it's it, it's just a little bit too dangerous for me. Um, I essentially I don't want the uh, front shock tower breaking apart, so I'm gonna have to go and find another solution. Even though I love this design better visually.